All right, hello, welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're looking at a way to save file space on your computer effectively free. This is pretty wild. This uses a tool called Compactor as well as a built-in service within Windows 10 and Windows 11. This was introduced, a kind of big deal was made about it when it originally launched, but then it kind of fell off the radar. And what this uses is a new built-in file system compression method that was introduced again with Windows 10 and Windows 11 that runs very lightweight. It utilizes some specific instruction sets on modern CPUs to run very lightweight, effectively free. If you're on a really, really slow or low end like dual core or early quad core CPU, you're gonna have some performance impact because it does use your CPU to decompress as any compression does but most modern systems with any performant variety is going to be just fine with this and it's pretty wild how simple it is so the first way that you can do this you don't have to download anything at all it's actually just built in to windows uh, if you go to your computer and go to like the drive you want to use right click go to properties this button right here has always been there compress this drive to save disk space and it, what it will effectively do is run through your drive and use the new system file system compression to just compress everything down and then instead of accessing the fully uncompressed files it will just decompress them as it needs them now there are some scenarios i'll go ahead and hit apply apply to see subfolders and files need to approve it uac prompt we can ignore some specific ones that it doesn't want to do it to and it's going to go through and do this to my whole system including apparently the recycling bin, which is going to take a little while. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. But we're looking at right now, before I do any of this, I will, I will post an after shot that I will get later tonight. We have 60.2 gigabytes free. Now, something I do want to mention before we go any further is that there are certain programs that will reacquire a file or like refresh it and that will uncompress it. And so I've run into that with some of my Unreal as assets in that like it, it stores them in a zip file and then decompresses them already to like add to my specific unreal projects and that has meant that I will shrink stuff down and then it will expand back and I kind of have to keep on top of it for that which is why I'm going to show you the compactor program but for just your general like drive storage options you can toggle this on in every drive that you have and it will work fine something you may notice however uh, going back to my screen here is that when checking that it turns off indexing and you have to manually turn indexing back on the the indexing which is how it shows files when you start typing in search in a specific folder or drive that seems to conflict with the compression and I'm not entirely sure why that is why I'm actually recommending compactor so compactor is a free and open source program that utilizes the same DLLs and executables that Windows uses but gives you a GUI for it and allows you to do this on a folder by folder basis so if we go to my programs folder, which by the way, just a little bonus tip, I'll sprinkle these throughout the tutorial Tuesday videos as I think they're relevant. I keep a folder in my home folder, which is just my name, you know, stored with your user. Explorer just crashed. Thank you, Windows 11. <laughs> it's been, Windows, Explorer has been very unstable for the past few weeks and I don't know why. It's been fine up to this point. Anyway, in my user folder. The user folder is a wonderful place. I recommend utilizing it heavily because it is super easy to back up because like for example app data is like the settings for a ton of different programs and you can just back this up. You can back up your whole user folder when you need to reinstall Windows or something and preserve all of this. So I keep a dedicated programs folder for portable programs that don't install. That way I can just move it from Windows install to Windows install or if I need to sync up a test bench or something it's all right here. This is super handy, and then I just pin it to the top of my quick list, which things keep moving to the bottom of for some reason. Like I said, don't know what's going on with Explorer lately, but we're going to proceed. So we run Compactor, like I said, free and open source, and instead of just doing the whole drive and turning off indexing for your entire drive, you can choose specific folders. Now, I made a video, if you missed it, one of the uh, tech thrifts or whatever, uh, showcasing the second program called WizTree. WizTree is a program that will analyze your disks to see how much space is being used up and things like that. It's very much similar to Winderstat if you used that before, but it's significantly faster. And so I just scanned my entire drive and it's gonna give me a visual map of what files are eating up a lot of space. Now you can see here, I have like 80 gigs eaten up by just the hibernation and the page file, which is like a RAM swap. I can't really do anything about that. But over here, we got Apex Legends eating up space. Over here we have Fortnite eating up space. Over here we've got Affinity. Adobe, I've got more Apex Legends files, I've got Ubuntu in my downloads folder, 
We've got Unreal Engine assets, and then over here we've got thing, more Unreal Engine temporary files and things like that. So you can use this to figure out what needs to be, you know, compressed. So for example, right here, I can go to my program data, Epic Launcher, and actually I can right click it and right click Copy Path, and that'll copy the folder address. So now I can go to Choose Folder, just paste that in, select, and it's going to analyze and find out how much space it can save. So it scanned it. It says there are 280 gigs worth of files that can be compressed. So we can tell it to compress, and it's going to take a little while. You can see here it's just going through, and you get to watch the free space open back up as it shrinks this blue bar down, which is pretty nice. Now, it will find various files at different points in time that it has to exclude. So, for example, it jumped up to it's excluding 115 gigs of files, but it's still going through and compressing more. And if I open up my task manager, which, again, I'm on a Threadripper system, so you're not going to see a whole lot with this, but just as a point of reference. We've got two threads at work. They're getting hit pretty hard, but that's two threads that are consistently being hit super hard. So on a quad-core eight-thread system or higher that's from, like, say, 2015 or newer, you're most likely going to be fine. Now, a lot of these Unreal Engine files, like I said before, are cache files, and they end up getting excluded. But a lot of this I actually have on, like, I've, I've switched Unreal to using another drive for my cache. So it really doesn't need to be using it, but we can go ahead and check as it's going through there now. Yeah, we haven't really cleared up any space because it can't really compress that. We've also, I've also already ran that for the other video. So we can come back to WizTree and find something else to try to compress. So, for example, we have the Fortnite folder. We can right-click that, go to Copy Path, Go back to Compactor. We can say Compact. We can find a new folder. Fortnite. Confirm. It looks like it can only compress 2.46 gigabytes of it. But that's fine. Go ahead and compress it. Why not? Save us a little space. I think it's going to depend on file type and what the kind of files are used for. But we can also come over here to Apex Legends. Let's try to comp compress that. Copy path. I think it's these files that are like really giant singular files that it struggles with being able to compress, especially in these arbitrary file formats. Yeah, there's not a whole lot from Apex that's compressible. But if you go watch my original video, maybe we'll include a clip of it here. There was a fair bit that I was able to compress originally. And that's part of the reason some of this is getting excluded, is I've already run this a few times. But this is a way to micromanage it in a way that you're not entirely losing your indexing. Because if you apply it to the whole drive, you lose your indexing for the whole drive, which isn't great if you're trying to search for your files regularly or if you have your documents stored on there or whatever. But if you're just doing individual folders that you're theoretically never really searching through that much on your own, like your program files, you're not, you shouldn't. There's no real reason to be searching it unless you're just installing an obscure plugin or whatever. You can do it this way. And so... That's kind of what I like doing. All right, now we're going to go to my Adobe folder. We're just going to keep compressing what we can. You can see the green bar is actually the already compressed files. And so that is a lot of what we're skipping here is I've already run this. This is already compressed. And this might actually, I don't know if this matches up to the Wizard Street colors. I don't think it does. Yeah, you can see here, 10 gigs of this has already been compressed in the first place. It can compress a little bit more, but... So this is my entire Steam Apps folder. You can see here I've already compressed almost 8 gigs of it, but I have 8 gigs that I've recently downloaded that haven't been compressed. So I can go ahead and squish that back out. So, so far we've only saved 2 gigs from this. But again, I have heavily run this for weeks on my system, which is how I've squished it down as far as I have. So there isn't really a ton else that we can do. It looks like we can just empty our recycle bin to uh, reclaim some. So I'm going to turn on my desktop icons on my other monitor here, an empty recycle bin. That'll clear up a fair bit of space, probably. Yeah, we have 200 gigs in my, uh, now granted they're not all from C, but we had 200 gigs in the <laughs> recycle bin. <laughs> I'm terrible. I deal with a lot of big files. I have an excuse, but hey, we can come over here to this installer folder. We probably don't need that very often. Come back to compactor. So obviously, Saving your disk space and all of that is a is a constant juggle. Okay, zero gigs of that is compressible, but it's a constant. Hey, we saved 10 gigs, 12 gigs, 14 gigs. Nice. So, managing your space on your computer is a constant struggle in a in a juggle of doing different processes. 
and I've been using this for almost two months now before I wanted to make a formal tutorial on it just to make sure everything was working fine and I've had zero hiccups from it. Um, obviously you're going to get diminishing returns as you keep running it and running into files you've already compressed like I've shown but this is just one more or two more if you go drive wide for drives you don't want to search. Just an extra tool. Actually I can show an example of this. I don't know if it will work and I will include a screenshot after the fact if it does. But this drive right here, my F drive, it is a 4 terabyte SSD that I use purely for cache. Cache and scratch for my video editors and things like that. Theoretically, that's not the best idea to compress, but since a lot of this I dump on the regular, I'm going to go ahead, and this and the H drive, which is my Unreal projects and my ongoing encoder project, I'm going to go ahead and enable the file compression for both of these. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do both and I you can see them now one terabyte free on cache, 771 free on the H drive. I will screenshot later if we saved any significant space from this, but I'm gonna go ahead and enable it on that drive just in case. But there's just a couple tools to add to your arsenal to help make your computer life easier. And those are the kinds of things I want to feature more because I think it's these little tools that like really just add to your workflow that make a huge difference in terms of like what you end up able to do with your computer. It's 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 amassing a knowledge base and an experience base, a toolbox of all these tools that really help you out. Remember, be kind, rewind.